This is a tutorial for the original Unreal Tournament editor, Windows version. First thing you need to do is to have UT Game of the Year edition installed. Uh, it'll be version 436. You can confirm this by running the game and looking at the top right corner of the user interface, you will see the V436 at the top. Second thing you need to do, start a practice session and in the bots tab, select zero number of bots. Start the session and then quit the game afterwards. The Unreal Editor is included in version 436, so you don't need to install anything else. Simply go to your Unreal Tournament folder, and there's a subfolder there called System, and in that folder you will see a file that's called unrealed.exe. So all you need to do is double click on that, and you will get uh, what you see on the screen here. When you first open the editor, there's going to be this independent browsers window. You really don't need it, so feel free to close that. I'm going to very quickly go over a couple of things in the top toolbar so that you can uh, get started right away. And the first few ones you don't really need because they're also in the menu at the top. But just so you know, there's new map, open map, save map, undo, and redo. So these ones, I typically just use the menu at the top, but it's your choice. The first thing that I want to talk about is the th the three windows um, that are the sort of the grid windows, as I call them. This one here is the top window. That means it's a top view of the map that you're about to build. This is the front view and the side view. So since this is a 3D map editor, it's important that you have all three views uh, to know where you're where you're putting your brushes. Finally, this is uh, pretty interesting. This is the dynamic light view, and there's nothing in here at the moment, but once I start building, then you're gonna see how this comes into play. The other thing I'd like to draw your attention to is this little joystick icon, which is available in all four windows, if I click on those. And what that means is, if you can see in the top pane here, you can see that there's a camera icon. Let me just zoom in for you. And this camera icon will move dynamically across all four windows when you have that little joystick icon selected. Uh, once I start building, you'll get a better idea of what the camera actually does. So the next thing I wanna show you are the mouse buttons. I'm here in the top window. And if you hold down your left mouse button, it just helps you to just move around your map in that particular grid. And you can see I can do the same thing here and here. And I'm doing the same thing in this dynamic light window. You just can't see very much at the moment. Now, if I use, if I hold down both mouse buttons, it zooms out and it zooms in. So this is really going to help um, when you're building your map and you have smaller brushes, you'll be able to zoom in to see your brushes better. So this behavior of left mouse button is the same in the three grid windows. And then the holding down both mouse buttons, again, behaves the same way in those three windows. However, it behaves differently in the dynamic light, and I will show you as soon as I build a brush. So let's talk uh, big picture. In the dynamic light, this is your entire, mm, let's say the entire playing surface for your map. Right now it's black, it's empty. Think of this as a solid chunk of clay and the first thing we need to do is to carve out a chunk of that so that's where all of our map building is going to take place. So on the left hand side you will see different types of what we call brushes. There's a cube brush, a two-dimensional sheet, cylinder, cone, sphere, curved staircase, spiral staircase, and a normal staircase. Now, for now, let's just worry about the cube, and uh, since we're just gonna build one room for you to show you how this works, but as you develop uh, your map, you'll probably be using some of these other brushes as well. So what you need to do is go to the cube one and right click, use the right uh, mouse button, and here you can change the attributes of your cube. For now, we're only going to worry about these first three attributes. So think of it as your, your Z and your X and your Y axis. 
Uh, let's start with a height of 1024. Same for the width and the breadth. Then you need to click on build and uh, I'm gonna close this now. And now you can see in every window, you can see that red cube that has been built and it's visible in all of the windows, including this one. So now I can show you in the dynamic light window, left mouse button moves you around your map and you can sort of hold down your less left mouse button to rotate around, pull in and pull out. But when you hold down both mouse buttons, it um, allows you to move along the Z axis up and down. So it's a little bit different behavior with the mouse uh, when you're in the dynamic light view. So this red thing that you see is what we call a wireframe. It is not the actual brush, but it tells you exactly where that brush will be built as soon as you build it. In this particular case, it's a cube and the height, width, and breadth are all 1024 units. Then over here on the left-hand side, um, again, these brushes you're going to, these buttons you're going to use a lot. The first one is add, subtract, intersect, and de-intersect. So for now, I'm just going to show you one brush. It's a subtract brush, and this is the carving that I was referring to. So when I hit this button, the subtract button, it's going to carve out a cubic space within this whole lump of clay that is your editor. And before we do that, let's choose a texture for this cube. So if you bring your mouse up to here, you'll see this little picture frame. It is the texture browser. And the first line is the name of the package that you want to get your textures from. And uh, so what you want to do is you want to add some more texture packages to this window by going File, Open. And let's take a beefy one like UT Tech 1. So if I grab that one there. This one has lots and lots of textures for you to explore. You will see UT Tech 1 here in the top. And then here, let's change that to a wall. So these are all the possible wall textures you can have from this particular package. Let's just choose this one, which is Cliff Brick 1. So you see how I've selected it. You can now close the window. And now when I click on the subtract button, you can see that it has carved out a room using that texture. So it looks good on the walls, looks a little bit strange on the floor. So let's change that texture. You just take your mouse here in the dynamic view and click on it so that it turns slightly bluish gray. Go back to your texture browser, which is up here. Choose a floor texture. So choose floor in the drop down menu. And let's take this one here. This is our cliff floor four. And you can see how it's changed that only that texture to the floor texture. And now let's move up. I'm holding down both the left and the mouse right, uh, left and right mouse button. I'm going to select the ceiling texture only so that it's blue. And now let's take a ceiling texture. So I'll just take the second one here. There you go. So now you've created your first room in Unreal Tournament. And uh, the next thing now, it's not a playable map because you need to add at least one player start. So let me show you that. If you go to the actor browser, it's a little, it's the icon is a little chess piece. You click on that, expand the tree, navigation point, player start. So once you've selected player start, you can close this window. And then on the floor, I'm just basically going to right click on the floor and you will see in your menu, add player start here. So there you go. So there's my first player start. And the next thing is that there's no lights in this map. So if you were to run this map, it'd be completely dark. So let's go back up to your actor browser. Click on light. And then as you can see, there are many different types of lights, but for now, just click on the basic light, close this window. And now I can just go and right click again, add a light. And this light is on the ground, so it's not going to be super useful. So let's uh, move this light up 
first you click on the light with your left mouse button so that it's green and then you go to the side window which is here and I'm holding down both left and right mouse buttons so that I can zoom in just a little bit more so you can see it better and what you do is you hold down control and the left mouse button so if you hold them both you will see that you're actually moving the light up so I'm going to move it a little bit higher up there and let me zoom out so you can see it better uh, let's put it right in the middle of the room hold down the control key and the left mouse button and there it is so now in this view you have to hold down both the left and the right mouse buttons and there's the light so you can see how that light is in the middle of the room so you now have a player start and a light and the last thing is let's just put one weapon so you can see how that works again go to the actor browser click on inventory weapon and now these weapons here are for the original unreal so you have to go to the lower one which is called tournament weapon which are all the ut weapons let's take a sniper rifle close the window right click on the ground and there's your sniper rifle but uh, it's not going to be much use without ammo so let's put some ammo in there actor browser In, under inventory there's a tree called pickup expand that tree again go to tournament pickups actually let's go to ammo first ammo tournament ammo and then this is the bullet box for the sniper rifle close that and just right click next to the sniper rifle add a bullet box let's add a couple just for fun and then finally you need to heal so again actor browser pick up health sorry tournament health this one here and a med box and you right click on the floor and there's your box so you have built your first room in Unreal Tournament. First, you subtracted one cube. Then you added some textures, a player start, a weapon with its ammo, a health uh, pack, and one light. So you now have all the ingredients for the map. The next thing you'll need to do is you'll come up here there are a few buttons for building the first one is to build the geometry only that is just the structural things the second one is to build just the lights but today what we'll do is we use this one which is build everything in one shot so if I do that you can now see how this is going to look in game you've got your room with a little bit of lighting and you can see how it's a bit darker in the corners because I only have one light and you can see all of your pickups and now to test out your game you click on the joystick icon which is play map and there are all of the items that we put in there's a sniper rifle and some ammo and then if you get hurt you have um, a med box for yourself and you can see how it doesn't look great because you only use one light but that is your first room um, thanks for watching